Sofa, what do I need to become a VTuber? Simple answer is check out my other videos. Also, if you're looking for a VTuber model, the answer is you could just use something like Vroid or Booth. But if you're looking for something a little bit more custom, like you have your own character concept in mind, here are three simple steps that you need to take to make your journey of getting a custom VTuber model a lot more simple. We're talking about if you are looking to get a custom VTuber model, whether you are making the model yourself or if you are going to be getting other people to make it, what steps you need to take in order to get that going. The very first step that you need to take is you can make something called a vision board. So what a vision board is, is kind of think of it like a kind of like a, a scrapbook to try and establish uh, a few things about your character. So not only will you be providing like references, so here you can get like, say references. So for example, um, I'm gonna be sharing my character, my vision board and character sheet. Whereas like my character is inspired from characters from cyberpunk. It's inspired by some cyberpunk style anime like Ghost in the Shell. And that's where I kind of got uh, this design from. And that's what really inspired this, as well as some sci-fi things. Like I pulled a little bit from Mass Effect as well. And then another thing that would be really important is showing the colors that you would really like to see. And then also try to establish like the world that your character lives in by providing some reference images. And that will really help your artist, if they're doing the character reference sheet for you, um, better pin down the kind of look and feeling that you're going for. Uh, so for me, the kind of world that uh, I provided a couple different images, right? So um, the kind of world that I want my character to exist in is is very like dystopian future cyberpunk, if, if that makes sense. So I took some screen grabs from, from Ghost in the Shell. Uh, I took some concept art from uh, cyberpunk, uh, some concept art from cyberpunk, the tabletop game as well as some things from Blade Runner as well, and even some things from The Matrix. And then from the vision board, then you need to get the character sheet. So a character sheet or a reference sheet should have your model um, posed in a front view, a side view, and a rear view, and also have like some expressions showing as, as well as have crucial details of your model shown. So like if you have any accessories, jewelry, or any colors that you specifically want, then that's what your character reference sheet should have. So once you have your character reference sheet, the next thing you need to do is either use this as reference to make your own 3D model, use this as a reference sheet to make your own 2D or 3D model, or you could send this to your modeler so they have a, a better understanding of what your model needs to look like. Like imagine having like a direct picture reference of what your mo what you want your model to look like versus just like being told, yeah, I want my model to be like cyberpunk with with side hair, right? And just think of how many different variations that artist might come across, right? Versus if you have a direct character sheet, it'll make things a lot more simple. And not only for you, but also for the artist so that they have more time to focus on making your model um, better rather than trying to figure out what you want. When you are looking for an artist, just know that it is art. So if you tell two people to draw a duck, one person might draw a duck hyper realistic, like it looks exactly like a photo. Whereas another person might try, draw a duck like super stylized, or they might even draw something like more like Disney style, like Donald Duck. So when you're looking for an artist, make sure that you look at their portfolio and, and see if their style will match your style. Cause it's not very often that you're gonna find a modeler that will one-to-one -one just give you a, a carbon copy of what's in your brain, right? They, it's Since it's an art form, they will have their own interpretation on things and they'll have their own stylistic touches to put on it. That's exactly what you need in order to get started on the path of getting your very first custom VTuber model. Thanks for watching and also thank you so much to my patrons on Patreon. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to make videos like this. And then also thank you to all of the members that hit the join button. Thank you so much because your support also really matters.
Bye.